This week I learned three beginner bench spinning tricks. I've wanted to learn ever since seeing this video on Instagram. That just looks so cool. The first trick I learned was also the easiest one. It's called the thumb around and you do it by holding the pen like this and flicking the pen around your thumb with your middle finger. When I first started trying, I just flicked the pen all over the place. The trick is to apply the right amount of force with your middle finger. Too much and the pen will just fly everywhere and too little and your pen won't make it around your thumb. Useless. You also need to move your index finger out of the way. Even though I technically knew how to do the trick, I was still very inconsistent and I was only able to do it every now and then. When you start learning, it does help to have something a bit longer with even balance. So I modified a pencil to be longer and heavier. And this made a very big difference. I practiced some more and quickly became very comfortable with the thumb around. Once you're comfortable, it's also super easy to do the trick with almost anything. Well, maybe not anything, but you get the point. And with that, I think I'm ready for a new move. This one is called the charge. Now you might think the charge looks easy. Trust me, it isn't. To do the charge, you hold the pen between your index and middle finger. You can also hold it between your middle and ring finger, but for now, I'll keep it in the first position. You hold your hand like this and flick it open. The pen is then supposed to spin like this and stay between the same fingers. It helps to put the top of the pen on the skin between your thumb and middle finger. This makes it easier to flick the pen. Another tip is to keep the pen in the tips of your fingers and to also keep your fingers very relaxed. Then you just need some practice. It took a lot of practice, but after finally doing the charge reasonably well, I tried it between my middle and ring finger. This wasn't too difficult to do once I knew how to do the charge with my other fingers and I did it because it would help me for the next trick, which is the sonic. It's almost like the charge, just a million times more difficult in my opinion. You start off in the same position as the charge, but instead of keeping the pen between your middle and ring finger, you must pass it to between your middle and index finger. This pass is what makes the sonic more difficult than the charge. The trick to learn the pass is to connect your index and ring finger at the right time to keep the pen from falling out. With a lot of practice and dropping the pen everywhere, I was able to get the sonic reasonably well. Now I know my moves aren't perfect, but I got to this level of pen spinning in less than a week. With more practice, I'm sure I'll get a lot better in a few more weeks. I am pretty great at doing a thumb around though. 